Well, hello stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I just wanted to come on here for a minute and let you know um, about the online exclusives and I've been showing a few little things. They are available to customers again on November the 7th. So the things that I'm going to show you are not available right now. Um, I have a feeling that they are going to sell out really, really quickly. So you can take advantage of me being in a completely different time zone and I will be up way earlier. By the time I wake up, it's only two in the morning for you if you're in Ontario and that is eight o'clock in the morning for me. So that's exactly the time when I can place an order for this stuff. So if you want to be on the pre-order list for some of these beautiful things, let me know. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we go. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is not... Um, a big surprise so I have but I didn't have them in Holland and so this was a big deal it's a two inch circle punch and a one and three quarter inch circle punch they are not in the catalog none of the, I don't think any of the circle punches are but they are, are in the online exclusives and the nice thing about these punches is that they stack on top of each other really well so that's nice and then when you see them on the shelf you can see what they are so I treated myself to these because punches weigh a lot and I don't want to take them in my suitcase. So that is just a, a, a thing that everybody needs. Now, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing here. And it is called, let me see, it's called Meandering Meadows. It's part of a suite and look at this paper. It is stunning. So if you're like me and you don't have an artistic bone in your body when it comes to a paintbrush, this paper is beautiful. So let's go through it. This is the one I think is going to sell out, just like the um, the autumn paper sold out. So, you know, all this really needs is a sentiment. So if you're just beginning to stamp, or you need just some quick and easy cards, this paper is the bomb. Okay? It would be nice for sympathy cards, it's nice for birthday cards, thinking of you, anniversary, you name it. Just a cheer card. So there's four of each design. Look at that. Doesn't that just make you happy? Today in the Netherlands, there's a storm warning. It's just pouring rain and super, super windy. It's not even the rain so much as the wind. Look, it doesn't this look a bit like a Monet painting? And um, I was supposed to go visit my cousins in Zeeland today, but I canceled. Thanks to them, because they warned me and they said, you know, there's a big storm coming. Um, planes have been canceled, so it was a good day to stay home. Isn't that pretty with the daisies? So, I'm guessing you're falling in love with this paper as much as I am. Of course, if you get a starter kit, even though the big deal is over, the starter kit is always a great deal. You can put this in your starter kit right now. Look how moody this paper is. Oh, I love it. All right, now do you want to see the other side? Okay, maybe I'll do this a little bit quicker. So we have, this is great. This is perfect for stamping on um, pattern paper. So we've got all kinds of shades. You could stamp flowers and leaves and all anything on here. It's really nice. Sometimes you get a really, oh look at there's even this surprise on the other side. There's this paper. Huh. And some clouds. Wow, and this paper. So there's some flowers on two sides of it. Mm, nice surprise. So this paper, I'm going to show you what it goes with. There is a stamp set called Garden Meadow. Everybody loves a nice pair of rain boots. I have some red ones back in Canada. A fence and a basket, a watering can, a wheelbarrow, some birds. Thinking of you, I can't imagine having a better friend. Happy birthday. Every day is a fresh start. So... Let's see, images at 90%, which means they are bigger in real life. So this is the actual size of the stamps. It's backwards, but you can see, let me see if I can move this. You can see how big they are. So you can see how big that wheelbarrow is and the fence. I think this will work really well with some of our other stamp sets as well. And then take a look at our dies to go with it. So that great big arch die would be nice to put a scene in there. I'm gonna play with this. Um, this is like an embossed and cut grass. I, I, these are just gorgeous. Yeah. So this is going to be one of those classics that you're never going to want to get rid of. Then there is this ribbon that goes with it. 
Now this is called, it's got a really nice detail. And what I would do with this ribbon is I would just for texture lay it across. It's a little bit of a thick ribbon, which means it's not perfect for tying bows, I don't think. Pecan pie, what's it called? Center stripe ribbon. They never come up with really great names for their ribbon. It's just very plain and boring, but there's a really nice texture to this ribbon. And then the last thing I wanna show you is this and these are birds and dragonflies so really cute uh, gems my last little tip is that did you know that you can get the markers in just the new core colors and stamping coloring on your um, stamps with markers is a great way to get two-toned images and I find that it's just really nice to have markers in all the colors and you save money when you buy them in a collection Okay, so this is the new Cora Colors collection. Does it tell me what colors are in there? It doesn't, but um, I can see it. Bubble Bath, Pecan Pie, Misty Moonlight, Pretty Peacock, Lemon Lolly, Berry Burst, Misty Moonlight, um, Lost Lagoon, Fresh Freesia, Azure Afternoon, and Lemon Lime Twist. How is that? I think I passed the color test. Anyway, there are more things that are still available in the online exclusives. There's one called Fluffy Friends. I've ordered it in Canada, so I told myself I can't have everything in Holland. I have to wait for some surprises when I get back to Canada. So um, yeah, that's it. And I also treated myself to a new block. Look how beautiful, shiny it is. I mean, I cleaned my other block and it's not bad, but oh, a brand new block is so nice. I think I only had one in this size. So I wanted another one. I have a basket full in Canada, but not so many here. I was just looking up. There's some. There's a leaf floating in my window outside um, from the storm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And also thank you for giving me another great year with Stampin' Up. Even though I am traveling back and forth and living in two countries, I still managed to be number 27 in Canada out of over 5,000 demonstrators. So that's pretty amazing, I think. And I earned the incentive trip thanks to wonderful customers and team members and retreat member people who came to my St. Jacob's retreat. That really is the thing that put me over the top. So I'm looking forward to the retreat in St. Jacob's again at the end of September. And I also have a winter retreat, January 2nd to the 4th. Um, stay tuned for details on that. Um, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you are welcome to come to my one day um, training for celebration. It's on January the 3rd. The cost is $125. You get two stamp sets. You get lunch, coffee, tea, treats, maybe cinnamon buns. I don't know yet. And um, and then I'll be doing some business training on how to get the most out of your celebration season. So you know what? Whenever, and whenever demonstrators get together, great things happen. So I'm sure we'll organize a swap and it's just going to be a fantastic time. It's a cozy cabin in the middle of rolling farmland. Um, right between St. Jacob's and Stratford. So it's a great place um, to be. And 12 lucky people get to sleep over. I'm giving those spots first to my team. And if my team doesn't fill it up, then I'll open it up to other demonstrators or customers. So stay tuned for details. And uh, thanks again for being part of my Stampin' community. You make me very happy. I am very blessed. Bye.